Hello and welcome to Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host, Jalindo, and today we're playing a game called Starward Rogue, which has been released on Steam as of January 22nd, 2016. It is a roguelike labyrinth lodged in the side of a star. You can dodge gorgeous waves of bubbles, claim weapons and upgrades, and defeat the warden, warden and rescue Rodney. It has been developed and published by Arson Games LLC, and it's been released already, so it's on Steam. You can go check out all the reviews and check out what you think of it. Um, yeah, so we're going to play a little bit of it. And you guys can check it out and let me know what you think. So I'm going to start a new file, new game, all the way from the beginning. And I'm just going to start the tutorial because I want you guys to hear kind of the setup of the storyline and everything like that. And hopefully that will kind of get you into what we're actually doing on this giant space station. Here we go. Hey, you. Come, Come up, up this, this way, way a minute. <laughs> Look, it's, it's time, time for introductions. introductions. My name is Rodney. You, on the other hand, are a disembodied head in a mech. The Megalith, an exotic and sunny work environment. Your job is to get me out. Okay. I'm paying your other heads handsomely for this, so you'd better do a good job before you die. Now we dodge around this thing. We. Well, don't complain to me about it. It's only one head in your mech, and your heads grow back. So I just got a uh, machine gun off the ground. Push E to pick it up. Unlimited ammo. To use a door, walk through the door. Too basic? It's hard to tell with disembodied space dragon heads. So there's the door. You're on the topmost floor of the megalith right now. This whole place is lodged in the side of a star. There you go. Break those, got a missile, got, I think those are, I don't know what those are, I think they're energy, but I'm not sure. Got a key card, got uh, a credit somewhere in there. Okay, let's see if we can get through here and not get hit. How in the world are we going to do that? I don't think that's possible without getting hit. Am I wrong? Whoa, okay, got close. We're going to open this little container here with a key card, and we get, gain 25% damage until you heal your hull. Wow. Okay. Do not hear your hole in any way to keep bon uh, keep bonus 25% damage. All right. F to use current consumable system. If you have one, that is. It shows up in the box in the lower left-hand corner down here. Consumables can only be used once, and then they're gone. Nice. Okay. Let's see if we can get up up through here. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, okay. Wow. That was... Um, that was a tight fit. Let's go up here, get past this thing. Blow up the exploding. Oh, I shouldn't anyway, have ran through the explosions. For your purposes, just think of this as a giant death trap set here to keep you from me. There you go. We're in a giant death trap. Gotta save Rodney. Luckily for both of us, I'm only five floors down. Only five? Wow, that'll Unlike be simple. You, the warden is also down there. Giant. Oh. Robot guy. Big death lasers. Yeah. Giant robot with death lasers on level five. Got it. Got a missile launcher. Your main weapon has infinite ammo. So go nuts. But your missile launcher needs, well, missiles. And your energy weapon needs, haha, energy. Yeah, good guess. So left click is the default for shooting your unlimited ammo weapon. Then you got the. Aha! Or are you? That was a test. You're totally not blocked. This type of barricade can only be destroyed by missiles. That's right, missiles, which or missiles. Uh, missiles, missiles. I guess it depends on where you live. Um, space bar will launch a missile. Boom. Also, boom. Here's an energy weapon. It's a rain cannon. It uh, fires a round and then explodes. Pretty cool. So I can actually... Uh, shoot it. Ta-da! That's my energy weapon. Okay, now you have an energy weapon. Your energy fully... We'll just skip that last part there. Um, the energy weapon fully recharges at the end of every level, or the beginning of every room. So you'll get a fresh batch of energy at each room. It's going to start a new run. Now we kind of know the storyline. Uh, we have a choice of six mechs here. We have the White Gloss, the Flame Tank, the Indigo Dipole, 
the green envy, the deep blue, and the red shift. Now the white gloss is your kind of average, run-of-the-mill, um, disembodied head on a mech. Uh, it is a kind of, it's basically what we were already using, but it has high health. I think, believe it has the highest health of any robot. So this is really good for your kind of new players. Um, Survivability is high, everything's pretty average. It, it runs like you would expect it to. Then you got your flame tank. Flame tank has, I think, the highest attack of all of the robots. It does. Uh, it has an enormous missile capacity, double shields, a flamethrower for a primary weapon, and an ex excellent defensive secondary weapon, but not much spare energy. So you can see from the little dots on the bottom right, great attack. It probably has the highest missiles and the highest attack of any of the bots, and it has the lowest energy, and it looks like it has the lowest range as well. Uh, health is fairly low, and shields are fairly low. Um, so yeah, this is kind of like uh, missiles and flamethrower craziness kind of thing. Then we got the Indigo Dipole, a magnetic missile launcher that is able to powerfully pull in an enemy bullets towards it. So you shoot the missile launcher, and all these bullets that are around kind of get attracted to it, kind of clears the area. Haven't got to try that yet, but it, it sounds very useful in, in a game like this. Um, you also have a mild repulsive hornet mine that is great from hiding behind. For great, eh, great for hiding behind. Um, so yeah, this one's kind of average except it has a cool um, missile launcher that that basically pulls in the bullets. And that repulsive mine almost sounds like it pushes bullets away, but you know, I haven't tried it yet. We got the green envy. Uh, you have a 10% chance of gaining a credit on every enemy kill and a 1% of gaining a key card on every enemy kill. So this is really good for looting and money and stuff like that. Uh, it is mostly average. Uh, if you compare it to the average bot, it has less uh, health. and But it has the special of Treasure Hunter. However, you need more EXP. So while you get more gold and you get more key cards, or get more credits and get more key cards, you get less EXP. It's kind of like there was there were some items in RPGs like Final Fantasy VII, where you could, you know, double your gold, I think it was called Wallet in Chrono Trigger, and it was probably something else, Gill something in FF7, I bet. Um, anyway, it was, you get double the money, but zero XP. It's similar, but you get some AXP. It's kind of the way this works. So this is the Treasure Hunter mech. And then you have the Deep Blue. Difficult to learn, uh, to use, but rewarding when you do. It's a weaker uh, main attack, means that you have to rely more on your little robot beam cannon buddy. So it has kind of a beam drone that comes with it. A, a lots of energy, lots of energy ability. Uh, no good missiles and kind of weaker. Um, so yeah, relying on that teammate. And then we have Redshift. This one's the most interesting, I thought. Uh, time only move, uh, moves when you move. All oh, man, awesome. Paper thin defenses, but who cares? Yeah, this thing dies and like a stiff breeze will kill this, this mech. But... The cool thing about it is when you stop moving and you don't fire, everything stops. It freezes in time. And then you can kind of plan out your movements. It's almost like it's almost like this robot is fighting in the matrix. They're, they're constantly in matrix bullet time. Um, so it's, it's kind of an interesting dynamic that changes, you know, the whole gameplay style from, you know, being really fast to actually being methodical. It's almost a turn-based game at that point, but it's still cool, you know. So uh, let's try out. Let's try out the flame. Well, what do you think? The flame tank. Flame tank sounds awesome. Also, the beam drone sounds awesome. Uh, let's try the flame tank. That sounds flashy. We also have m difficult deals. We have very easy, easy, normal, hard, and misery. If you really want misery, go to the bottom. So we're gonna start the run here. That 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 spinny spinny. Let's see this. Whoa, that's a flamethrower. Cool. Okay, we got a red entrance. And I've noticed that each time I've loaded into the game, I've had a different map. So uh, it makes me feel like this is kind of um, procedurally generated. I, I'm not sure though, I haven't tried the same bot twice. You guys let me know if you try it. Uh, it looks like right, up, right above, if we go straight up this way, there's the boss in the ne very next room, but I'd rather go and collect stuff. So let's see what's in these other rooms. Got an incinerator that we can change into a flamethrower. Wow. Um, so it has, I think, if I'm reading this right, I currently have the incinerator, and I'm gonna get a flamethrower. Flamethrower has less range, so about half the range, 
but more attack, more spread, more X factor. Oh. It's hard to tell which one I like more. Pretty sure I like this one more, because I like more damage. Okay. Oh my. Okay, I can't blow these things up, can I? I can blow up these, I can't blow up the red things. Oh, wow. One thing I don't like about this bot already is it's hard to see anything being shot at you through the flames. But it does a ton of damage. Very distracting, though, with those flames. Man, it destroys stuff fast. A lot faster than the default mech, that's for sure. Blowing up stuff. What is that? Ah. Get little uh, glowy... Shoot glowy things, get glowy stuff. What is this? Nothing in that one. Okay. Oh, we could have just did a regular attack on that one. Okay, let's see what's to the left of us. Hmm. I feel like I should blow this up, but it doesn't doesn't want to be blown up. You're gone. There we go. Teleport? Aha. Oh. Getting shot at from the walls is strange. Oh. Okay, the bullets actually change direction on some of these. That's really, really different. I can destroy three at a time. Nice. From this angle. Okay. Where to now? I think we already went to that top little right one. One thing you can do is once you clear out the entire room, you can, uh, everything stops. You can blow up all the other stuff easily without being harassed by anything. So it can be useful to just go ahead and, you know, destroy everything else. I picked up two missiles. Okay. You look in the bottom left, right, uh, bottom right hand corner of the screen, you see what I most recently picked up. Uh, blow that up. Sometimes there'll be stuff in these. You gotta be like, like Link in the Legend of Zelda. Just blow everything up that you see. Okay, let's go back through here. Um, I feel like I want to be in there for some reason. Whoa! Explosion! Well, that wasn't worth it. Um... There's a lot of teleporters here. What in the world? What kind of puzzle is this? Okay, apparently I want to get in the top right hand corner, so let's solve the puzzle. These go back and forth. Okay. This goes to the left. Okay, that goes to the top left. That goes... Okay, found it. That wasn't too bad. Any of these others? Ooh, what is that? Ah, one of these will get you stuck in the corner for a little bit. Have it be painful to get out. Alright. Ah, that one will take you to the top left, uh, top right as well. So you can go through either. If you, if you don't want to solve the puzzle, you just go through the bottom right and go ahead and jump in there. What in the world? Looks like there's bombs in here. I don't want to touch any of those, but I want to touch these. Magnetic offense. Your shots will be attracted to enemies. Oh, that's nice. And these have health cost. Gain double value from, from credit drops. Infinite energy until hit. Those are some interesting consumables. I'm going to skip them for now. don't think I really need those. Uh, let's sneak out this way. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay. Where are we at? If we go down here. We go to the right. Wall master. Here's the boss I didn't need to go into. Oops. Oh my. Gonna have to get really close because my flamethrower's got that low range. Oh man, that's a lot of bullets. So I, I, I basically have to be in front of him. 
for sure. Died on failed run. Ah, you gotta be kidding me. I didn't know it actually didn't give you any continue. So, yeah, procedurally generated new level. So that was silly. I shouldn't have ran behind him like that. What what was the deal? But I get to um, I did get to keep what I already had. I think so. You can constantly upgrade until you're able to make it out. That's pretty cool. Wave shots it destroys projectiles versus minor damage, but blocks bullets very well. Ooh, yeah. Oh, so I basically have an energy shield. Okay. It just uses energy really fast, and I don't have a I don't have a whole lot of energy in the spot, so I guess it doesn't matter. Blow you up, blow you up. Blow you guys up. I'll do a little better on the boss this time. That was kind of embarrassing. This uh, long range really helps you a lot on bosses because you have to get close. Those bullets are going to be really close together and hard to dodge. So range is pretty important in this game. Also health. Health seems to help out a lot. Through here. Oh, oh, oh. Stay away. I mean, this flamethrower is nice and all, but I'd kind of rather have the health now. Oh, no, no, no. Stay away. Stay away. Okay, the, the, these things, these turrets, they stop once you get to the other side of the room and destroy everything else that's alive. Okay. Reddit thingy. What's down here? Can't go down. Oh, yeah. Gotta, you have to spend key cards to get into shops. We don't have any key cards, so we can't get into the weapon shop or the consumable shop. Mega fail. So let's go back up this way. Teleport across to there. Go up. Left. Down. Right. I mean... This way. What is that? I don't have a key card to open this. No key cards yet, guys. Oh my. That is kind of crazy. I don't even want a piece of that. Oh, it's blowing. It, it's making it where I can't shoot my um, my flamethrower through it. Okay, let's go. Do it to it. I think I, got, I, think I can outrange his bullets. Oh yeah, totally got that guy. Not nearly as hard as I thought it was going to be. It's weird, if you're like right next to the wall and you shoot just a little bit towards the wall, it totally interrupts all of your flame. There's no like rebound or anything. Let's see what this is. 2% damage multiplier for your primary weapon. 2% damage multiplier. Grants you four missiles. Actual ammo, not ammo capacity. I kind of want a 2% damage multiplier. I'll take them both. Because I like doing more damage. It's kind of a thing, you know? Kind of helpful, actually. I go left. Hmm, I see glowy things back there. Okay. We can go left. Oh, wow. Go can't go back out till we clear this room. And those spikes, there's spikes on the floor here. All those little black things in the middle are spikes. Whoa. Really not gonna like this. Gotta fit in the middle. Oh, that was bad. That was very bad. Okay, so one color must not hurt me. There's blue, and then there's red. That must, blue must not hurt me. Okay. Must be like powering up or something. Oh, I walked in a trap. Come back here, you thingy. Okay, we're gonna see the, um, we're gonna go check out the boss now. Crystal Mother. See, it's all, it's always procedural. Hey, you're random, getting random bosses and random dungeons and 
Oh, I can totally handle this. Much slower. Ow. Okay. Phase two. Phase two. Oh. Yep, I got this. I got just enough range to make this work. Phase three. Yikes. Yeah, this is one of the weaker bosses, it seems like. So I'm having no trouble just circling and uh, avoiding. Bye-bye. Level up. Level two. Choose a perk. Okay, we've, we've, been, we've leveled up. Got a new level. Do, 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 do. Yum, 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 yum. Num, num. I didn't even have to use missile launchers or energy weapons or anything. Uh, they dropped a revenge module. Taking damage triggers a big retaliation bullet. Nice. So you see where the lore of this game comes in. It's very, very nice. It is very nice. It, it, it allows you a lot of good replayability because each time you boot it up and start a new level, it's different. So we've leveled up, we can choose a perk. We got small four, uh, hole reinforcements, which is increased max health by two. Small energy tank increases max energy by 25. And we also have brute, 10% damage. I love me some damage, I got brute. So now I have like a total like plus 14% damage if it rolled over from the previous run. And there we go, proceeding deeper. We gotta get to level five and that's the final boss, the warden right there. Continue. Okay, what's that? Make it to the next floor without using any energy for a bonus. Nice. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think of this game. I would love to hear your opinions. Uh, it seems really nice. It's a lot better than I was even expecting it to be. So, um, it, it looks really cool. And I wish it would have received a little more attention at release. Because it is better than, than it looks, to be perfectly honest. Um... Yeah, so feel free to click the subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more videos like this. There'll be links in the description below for checking out the game and purchasing it if you so choose to do so. So choose to do so. That's redundant. Uh, it's $12 currently on Steam. So there you go. Thanks for watching, and remember, keep it clean.